Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally and welcome to this edition and uh, we are going to be studying about our spiritual health this week. Um, today, uh, we're just going to look at uh, how God wants us to thrive spiritually, physically, emotionally, relationally and in all areas of our life. Um, 3 John and verse 2 says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in hell just as your soul prospers. So we see that as John prays this prayer over the church, that it is God's desire that the church, the believers thrive in all things and especially spiritually. You know, we are actually mindful of our physical health and we know what, what, it, what we need to do in order to be physically healthy. But uh, uh, what if we are not mindful of our spiritual health? So just as how we uh, do some tests physically to find out if we are doing okay um, uh, with regard to our physical health, we can run some tests spiritually as well. Physically, we might you know, take our temperature, we might uh, do some blood tests, we might do some scans. Uh, the same thing we can do spiritually, uh, but we can do uh, some tests to see if we are doing okay. And if not, we can take some corrective measures. So the first test or the first check that we, we can do with ourselves is, uh, is what is called the word check. Now, the word that we are referring to is, is the word of God. The Bible says that the word of God is powerful, alive, uh, sharper than any two-edged sword. The word of God uh, came forth, uh, the, the, the God released it and he created uh, the universe and everything that, that is there in it. Uh, John chapter 6 and verse 63, the Lord Jesus says that uh, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Matthew 4 and verse 4, the Lord again says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So we, as believers, we are created, designed to have a healthy diet or a healthy input of God's word. We need to partake of God's word. So we need to ask that question, am I spending sufficient time in the word of God? Am I reading the word? Am I studying the word? Am I meditating on the word of God? So those are very important questions because if we allow the word of God to dwell in us, the word of God will influence us and impact us. Colossians 3.16, Paul writes and he says, let the word of God dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Now, Satan knows the value of the word of God in a believer's life. Therefore, Satan comes to steal the word that has been sown in our hearts, which we see in the parable of the sower. Because the word of God produces faith. The word of God strengthens the believer. With the word of God, uh, to direct us and instruct us, the believer's uh, steps and path is laid out and made, made sure and it's established. The Word of God is also a weapon, it's a sword of the Spirit. Therefore, we need to have sufficient uh, amount of, word, of the Word of God in our lives. Right? So let's check and if not, let's ask the God, let's, let's make time to spend uh, in God's presence, reading, studying, meditating on the Word of God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this check, for this test. And if we are guilty of not spending time in your presence, in your Word, I pray that, Lord, intentionally that we would do so, that we would make time to be in your presence, to read, study, meditate, confess your Word. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.